Hey guys, it's Danita. Um, I'm checking in to do a mini um, food haul type thing and just to talk for a few minutes. So, yay! Um, I know some of you check in like religiously every week um, to do your um, updates and to check in, but I'm, I don't feel like I have enough to say every week. And I don't always feel great about my week, so I don't always want to talk. So um, that is what that is. So let me just, the first thing I'm going to do is just share some, uh, let me get the, let me get my weight out of the way. Um, I don't know what I weighed in the last time I did a video, but I am down 120 pounds and I am, let's see, I had surgery December 2nd. Um, December 2nd, and today is July 25th, so I still have, I think I calculated like 20 weeks I have until my year anniversary, so wherever that is, um, I'm not real good with keeping track of the numbers as far as weeks, and I know some people are like, this is week, I don't even know what week I'm on, I'm just being honest with you, I have no idea. Um, how do I, I feel good? Like when I think about overall of where I am compared to where I was, I feel good. Like 120 pounds. Who couldn't be happy about 120 pounds? I mean, I, I feel happy about that. Um, but I don't feel real happy about how slow the weight's coming off now. I lost the majority of that, you know, like three months out or three and a half months out, I had lost like 80 or 85 pounds. So I lost a lot in the first couple months. And I just feel like now it's like slowly coming off. I have a water retention issue, so I hold water really easily. So when I step, I don't even step on the scale every week because I don't feel accurate. I don't want to get discouraged if I'm retaining water. Like if I'm on my period, I definitely don't want to be weighing in because it'll just do all kinds of mental damage to me. Um, it's July 25th, and I turned 40 on August 4th, and I decided that morning was going to be my next weigh-in. So regardless, when you think about me being last year at my birthday turning 39, I was almost 400 pounds. So I may have been over 400 pounds. I don't know, but I was, I was around 400. And to think this year I'm sitting at... 273, um, 273 compared to, I mean, when I started going to the doctor for the weight loss, I was like 393, so two, 393, that's right, and so now I'm at 273, 273 is a big number, I mean, nobody's, you, you're not going to hear many girls say, oh, I wish I was 273, but coming from where I came from, 273 is good. I'm not going to complain. I'm, I'm okay with 273. Do I, do, I don't know, you know, when my doctor asked me where I wanted to be, you know, I don't know if your doctors ask you like for a goal weight, but my doctor asked me for a goal weight and my goal weight, I said was 220. And he, he did say, well, you can do better than that. You know, you could get down to 170, probably 180 if you do things proper. I don't know that I'm doing everything proper. And what I mean by that is I don't feel like I'm, I know I'm not exercising probably enough. I mean, I could be exercising definitely more. I drink coffee a lot. Now, I don't know if that is a problem as far as I hear some people say coffee, coffee I mean, I don't put sugar in it. I may put a tiny cream. I, I used to be a Starbucks addict and I used to go to Starbucks all the time and I would be literally drinking um, 700 calorie drinks a day, you know, like I would have my white mocha chocolate salted caramel frappuccino, um, for 700 calories. And then I come home and drink a two liter, you know, um, I'm not doing that. I am drinking coffee, black coffee with Splenda or cream. But let me tell you today, I just let me share experience with you today. I went to Starbucks and, um, well, I'm not going to go get if you go to Starbucks, I don't know if you right now, they got these little free stickers going on. So I pulled up my sticker packet and I got like a free grande drink. So 
So I'm like, oh, well, I used to love their peach tea, but they don't have sugar-free peach. So I have made a vow to myself to not drink calories ever again. Like, not just, like, ever. And so I get, I go ahead and decide I'm going to get a grande peach green iced tea lemonade. And it's like 130 calories for a grande. I get to the car, I take a drink, and instantly I just feel like this thing in my gut, like, what are you doing? You promised yourself not to drink calories. So I looked at my husband and said, sorry, I'm wasting this drink because I, I'm not going to drink calories. So I gave it to my son. My son drank it. Um, it's just one of those things I feel like really got me into the mess that I was in was drinking calories. I don't think that I'm going to ever drink calories again. Maybe minimal. I mean, let me just go over a few promises that I've made myself. And I probably should make myself some more promises and commitments beyond that. But I've made myself a promise to never drink calories again. Um, because, uh, just because, you know. So that means no Starbucks, fancy, even the light iced caramel macchiatos. You know, even the light drinks I'm not going to do. And I see a lot of people on Facebook on my weight, on our weight loss surgery page, um, drinking Starbucks and not that this is a decision that everybody has to make because everybody is different. For me personally, I look at those pictures and I'm like, I didn't go through this surgery to make those decisions. And I'm not talking about anyone else because somebody else may be able to drink them in moderation, but I don't think I can. I think I have an addictive personality and I know myself. If I go get one drink, then I'm going to want another one next week and then another one the week after. And before I know it, I feel like I'm scared I'm going to be back to where I was drinking and eating the way I was. And I'm just terrified of that. So, and to make a long story short, I got the drink, even though it was only 130 calories, that's a light calorie drink for Starbucks. Um, I, I couldn't do it. And I was relieved because I feel like it's already hard enough for me to, to avoid foods. Um, you know, some foods I, for example, um, nuts, cashews, almonds, pistachios. Um, I, I could eat more than a serving. I could eat three servings if I let myself. And so I try not, those types of foods, if they really, really are a struggle for me to just eat a serving, I, um, I try not to buy them. I mean, that's just what I'm doing currently because I'm, I'm scared. I feel like my year is going to come up on me and I'm going to be sitting where I am right now weight wise. And it concerns me because I know I heard everybody say the first six months is the anniversary or the honeymoon phase. And my doctor said, well, that's not necessarily true, but I think for me, it might be. I mean, the first six months, the weight fell off. You know, the first three months fast, right? Because, I mean, I couldn't keep anything down. Um, six months, I started feeling like I got my appetite back. Not fully. I mean, I still get full easy, but I could eat anything. Um, I used to throw up all the time. If I would eat something I couldn't, I mean, I would be immediately, I'd feel stuck, it'd come up. None of that's going on now. Um, I can probably eat pretty much of anything. I mean, I've had a few bouts. Like I tried to eat bread. Bad idea. Oh, you know what I did? Um, I made hard boiled eggs. I tried to eat a hard boiled. I don't know that I will ever eat a hard boiled egg again after that experience. Just saying. All right. So I'm rambling and I don't even know if any of all that means anything to you guys, but I'm just, I don't come here that much. So when I come, I'm just kind of like getting it all out. Let me do some food real quick. Um, Let me share my favorite protein, and I do a protein shake every morning, typically, at least six days a week, I probably would say I do a protein shake. I just dropped it, let me grab another one, instead of getting down, pick it up. Um, I will get it in a minute. This is my favorite protein shake, and I've shown you the big, I sometimes look at the big, um, you know, the big container. It's the neck, it's the nectar sweets whey protein isolate however you say it, and it's chocolate truffle. Chocolate truffle is my favorite. Um, I've said this before, I get a couple coffee packs, I put in with my, my favorite milk to use in my protein shakes is coconut milk. 
I use one fourth cup of coconut milk for 20 calories. Or this is, that's what I've been doing as of late. And then I'll fill the rest of the cup with water. So my protein shake in the morning is like 120. It's 120 calories because this is 100. My coconut milk is 20. This is 23 grams of protein. So that's the reason I do this in the morning is for my protein mostly. I'm just trying to get the protein in. Um, this is an easy way to do it. So these are my favorites, protein, by far. I always get them at the vitamin shop is where I get them. All right. So something else I've been doing. Okay, this here. Do you guys know what these are? Hmm? Do you know what these are? <laughs> these are, let me see. Fried up. Okay. I'm going to eat one. You guys, and if anybody is completely grossed out, I apologize, but I just want to talk to you about these little hairy, yummy monsters that I love so much. Let me explain why I eat these. Does anybody know what this is? It's an anchovy. <gasps> you love them or you hate them. There's no in between. So this is an anchovy. Mm. I love them. Love them. Mm -hmm. And if you don't love anchovies, don't do this. You're not gonna. It's not gonna do anything for you. Mm -hmm. This whole container here. I mean, there's a lot of anchovies in there. I don't know if you can see. Um, the servings per container was four. This whole thing's 100 calories. Okay, 100 calories. All these little anchovies in here. See them all? They're all 100 calories. So I can eat out of here five a day, you know, and I'm only eating like 20 calories or whatever. I don't know, you know. Love them because I feel like I'm eating something. They're salty. I love salty stuff. I love these babies. And they've got protein. I mean, anchovies really are a power food. Just like... Sardines! <laughs> I love these mustard sardines. I get these at Walmart. This thing is 150 calories. I had this for dinner today. Um, 150 calories. And the protein is 16 grams in this little thing. 16 grams of protein. Once again, if you don't like sardines, this ain't gonna work for you. If you like sardines, protein, 150 calories. I do it. I mean, it is just what I do. <laughs> I love them. Call me and ask you if you like. Don't judge me because it, you know, it is what it is. All right. Tilapia. This here is grilled tilapia. It's, I mean, it's already seasoned. Everything to go. If this is 80 calories for one filet, 13 grams of protein on one filet. You can cut this baby up, put in a salad, do whatever you want with it. Can you, here we go again. With, can you see it? There you go. Um... I noticed that I do better with salmon. Like, I love salmon, so I'll make salmon more than tilapia. I love tilapia before surgery. I don't know why, but it's like, it's not, it doesn't go perfect and smooth. Sometimes I feel nauseous from it. Um, but the protein, I mean, I try it always because of the protein. Let me show you something I made earlier. It may not look so good now. These are, I feel like I'm going to eat on camera, which is just crazy. Mmm. Okay. So this is a stuffed mushroom. Mm -hmm. And I love stuffed mushrooms. Like the bad kind. Like the Olive Garden kind. But it's not what these are. I made these babies. And let me tell you what's in them. Laughing Cow Cheese. They have a new brand called Hot Pepper Cheese. You guys know what I'm talking about. The little triangle cheeses. They're in my fridge. I'm not going to get them. But, um, I'm going to I'm going to feel that. Um, I cut up onions, tomatoes, mix it. My mouth's full. I'm being rude. I'm sorry. I got my nails did today. See? Can you see? No. You can't see. Well, because... Well, this sucks. Anyway, um, not polite to talk when you're 
eat while you're talking. Okay. The laughing cow cheese. So I, I, and then I put just a few panko crumbs in it, garlic salt, salt and pepper, a little sriracha sauce. And I make myself stuffed mushrooms. And this I will eat like three for dinner or lunch. Not lunch usually, but. And it'll be, um, so good. Okay, where else am I at? Hmm. Um. What else? Okay, something else. Let me just. I really think for me, something that's key is portioning things out and putting them where they go. So, like this, for example, can you see this? This is Pico, and I make this every week, once, two, three times a week, because my husband devours this stuff. It's chopped tomatoes, red onions, cilantro, lime, sea salt, jalapeno, you know. I mean, I can pick this up and just eat it by the spoon if I wanted to. It's really healthy. There's nothing bad in it. And besides the salt, which I probably don't need, but you can do anything with this. Put it on a piece of meat, put it on a salad. Um, my husband puts it on his burgers. He puts it on his steak. You can just dip a tortilla chip in there. I mean, you can do anything. I make that every week. It's just at the fridge, we can grab it. I've been making these, these, these right here. This this says one cup. It, it measures it out. Um, but in here, what I do with this, and I take this to work often, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. And it looks like it's a lot of food, right? Well, let me just tell you. I get mini pepperonis. So these mini pepperonis. And for a serving of them, they're 130 calories and like 6 grams of protein. I am eating on cam today. What is with this? Okay. All these little cucumbers. Cucumber? That's a cucumber just seasoned with red sauce. Cucumber. Mm -mm. Black olives. Can you see the black olives? Tomatoes. Hot pepper cheese. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you why I do this. My, I was at my sister's house when she made pasta salad. And she had all this stuff in it. And she was so sweet and nice, because I don't eat pasta now. I haven't had it. I mean, I might have had a noodle or something, but I mean, I don't eat pasta. So, she was nice. She made me my own little salad without the pasta, and it had all this stuff in it. And I thought, wow, I could eat this. This is not bad. I mean, if I add up the cheese, if I had the calories, I mean, this is like 250 calories. 250 calories for what I put in here. And that. I haven't put the dressing in yet. That would include the dressing. I use like a, a balsamic vinegar. You could use oil, vinegar, whatever you like. And I use salad seasoning. And the salad seasoning really just takes it to another level. And my sister gave that to me too. She gets it at, um, G what type of store? That store where you buy all the big stuff. Like large quantity of stuff. GSC. I forget what it's called. But they have this salad seasoning that is the bomb. So go there and get it. Um... I put it on everything. I mean, it's just truly the bomb. I'm just saying. Um, but I do this. I will take this to work. This will be my lunch. And this is what I eat. So I'll have my protein shake. Mm -hmm. And then I'll eat this. And then, oh, this is something else I do. Like this is, this is hot pepper cheese. I cut it up into one serving. So if I go to eat it, I don't eat more than a serving. I have this, this serving, you know. I do that all the time. Pineapple cottage cheese. I love pineapple cottage cheese. For a half of a cup, it's 130 calories, 9 grams of protein. I love pineapple cottage cheese. So I do this often. Um, let me just, oh, I'm hurrying. I, I don't, I never mean to do my videos that long and then I talk forever. Um, salami. Salami is probably fattening. I don't know, but I like salami. And so I will take for 12 slices of this, and I don't know if you can see the slices. They're really thin. So for 12 slices, and there's two servings in here, 12 slices is 210 calories. It's 11 grams of protein. I never eat a whole serving at once. So I would never eat 12 slices at once. I may eat four slices at once with a slice of cheese, 
but um, no, I would never. This here is the the hard salami is for six slices. It's 110 calories. So this one here's a little, I think a little more. Well, it's about the same when you write it down. Yeah, so I like it. I like salami with the piece of cheese right here. Cantaloupe, see what I do? I cut up the cantaloupe. Well, I, my husband cut up the cantaloupe, so I'll give him credit for that. But I'll cut up cantaloupe, watermelon, and what? If you don't know this, cantaloupe is probably one of the best fruits you can eat as far as protein and nutrients. Protein, do your research. It's pretty awesome. What do I do with my with my watermelon and my cantaloupe? I put salt on it. And because I retain water so much, I should not be doing that, but I do. I'm going to show you one more food find because this food find is probably my favorite food find, food find that I have found in a while. This is... This is teriyaki and pineapple chicken meatballs. Yes, it is. I don't know if you guys have these. Who makes them? Adele's, A-I-D-E-L-L-S. Adele's makes, it makes these. And I've only found them at Kroger's. Other places might have them. They're so moist and yummy. Love these meatballs. Love them. I cannot tell you how much I love these. I will... They're already, the nice thing about this, girls and gentlemen, is it's already cooked. So there, I believe, is 12 in here. Well, it says there's 15. It says there's 15, so there probably is. 15 meatballs, I pay like $5.50 for these. That's probably pricey. I don't know. But they'll last me all week. And what, I mean, I'll take, I'll probably eat two a day. Um, there's 140 calories in three meatballs. So three into 140 I don't know, they're 40 some calories a piece, I think. Whatever. So if I had two, they're like 80 some calories, 90 calories, 10 grams of protein, and three meatballs. You can heat them up. I think they taste better if you put them in the microwave for a few seconds. But honestly, I'm sorry, I can take off. Um, honestly, I can easily eat them cold. If I'm hungry enough, I'll just eat them cold. Get these. I'm. I, I'm telling you, I'm a picky eater when it comes to quality and, I don't know, like, I just don't like just, it. this is the girl who just told you she likes sardines and anchovies, and I said I'm not a picky eater, and you guys are like, right. Um, seriously, seriously, the teriyaki, you can't tell if there's pineapple in here. I don't taste pineapple when I eat these. I think it probably gives it some moisture benefactor benefit, I don't know. Try them. They are amazing. I would not lead you wrong, ladies and gentlemen. One other thing I'm going to show you real fast is one of my favorite snacks is pistachios. Now, I have a habit. I will only buy, like, one pack and bring in the house. This whole packet is, like, 220 calories for the whole thing and 9 grams of protein. Okay? I'm done with my food rant. Oh, I got cucumbers and mushrooms and avocados. I bought all kinds of stuff at the store. All kinds of stuff. I need to probably put this food back in the fridge. So, um, let's just see. What I feel like I've been talking forever, but I just feel like I need to um, get it all out while I'm here. What can I say? Um, let me just talk a little bit about surgery. And um, I still do not regret surgery. Um, I always like to just say that because... I know there's always people that are going back and forth trying to decide if it's right for them. And so I always like to make it clear that even though you may hear negative things, because we all have negative things to say about everything, I would do surgery over in a heartbeat. Even though I um, am dealing with other things now, I would still do it. Let me just ask some of you. Um, I am dealing with excess skin. Um, which everybody does, I know. Ladies, if anybody watches this, please respond if you've experienced this because it's concerning me a little bit. I'm not trying to be gross or anything, but um, right here, <laughs> right here, um, I used to be a lot larger chested. Um, and so I feel like I'm, I'm not as... As I used to be, you know, things are like, um, 
if I don't have a bra on since surgery, since I've lost some weight, and I go to bend down, say, to pick up something, I have this burning, crazy pain on the side of my breasticles. And I don't have the pain if I have a tight bra on or something that's containing me tight. Um, I feel like it's probably something inside that's stretching from maybe the excess skin. I, I don't know. I don't know. I've experienced it in my belly a few times. Like if I bend down or I move too fast, as if like something inside is, I don't know how to explain it. I try to explain it to my husband all the time and he's just like, well, just wear tight things and be fine. So if anyone else knows what I'm talking about, if you've experienced that burning pain, where it feels like, I mean, it's pretty painful when it happens. Like, for example, if I'm in the shower um, and I've been down to pick up the shampoo or whatever, of course, I'm naked. So I don't have any um, clothes or anything tight wrapped around me. And it, I will, I mean, I will be literally, literally like, ah, 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 and I can't move for a minute because it hurts that bad. So I don't know. <laughs> it just sounded crazy, probably. Anybody else experienced that, please tell me. Please, I need to know. What else? Am, um, what else? I'm taking my vitamins still. I'm. Um, what else? I should I honestly, before I do these videos, I really should take notes, and I have before, so I don't forget what I want to say because there's always things that I want to talk about, and um, I don't. I know something that I want to talk about. So, obviously, you're around people and they recognize you're dropping weight, right? I mean, but I realize people don't know how to approach you. And they don't know how to say, you look nice, because I think that they feel like maybe it's going to come across as you didn't look nice before. Like, how do you tell somebody that they were fat and huge? I don't, do you know what I mean? Like, I've had people come up to me recently at work and be like, meaning to tell you um you're really looking good or have you lost weight yeah 120 pounds you just now noticing <laughs> no <laughs> people just don't know how to approach you on the topic because it's one of those things that you don't you know I've, and believe me i have plenty of people say stuff to me by now about it but there's just some people i think that are, are uncomfortable it's an uncomfortable topic to approach someone and say, wow, you were freaking huge before, but now you're less huge, you know? People don't know how to approach the topic at all. Um, and I will just be honest, I've never really just went out there and like said, hey, I've had surgery to, I've never just like advertised it. If someone comes up to me and says, how are you losing the weight? Just Friday at work, I was walking to the restroom and, um, a woman approached me and, and she's like, you're looking good. Like, what are you doing? And, um, at first I said, oh, I'm eating a lot of protein. And then I caught, as soon as I said that, I knew I was going to tell her because I, I don't, I'm not ashamed of the surgery one bit. I have no reason to be ashamed of something that possibly saved my life. And so I'm not ashamed. Um, not in the least. So I told her, I said, I have a small belly now, you know, I got it done. And the reason I do that is because just in case it's going to help someone else make the decision to change their life. That's how I decided to go through the surgeries. I heard other people's stories. Um, a couple other people, a couple of specific, a couple other specific people who I saw their success. I knew what had happened and I thought if they were that big before, and it's working and they still have the weight off after all these years, this might be the trick for me. So I just never want to hold that back from anybody. I want everybody to have that opportunity. Um, now, in the same regards, I feel like um, the people who are overweight, largely, like me, like I was, I don't know that they like you losing the weight. How do I say this? Um, I truly understand the envious part. Like if you watch somebody lose weight and you've tried your whole life to lose weight and you feel like 
Maybe they took the easy way out. I don't know. Like, I know a couple people specifically, and I'm not going to get into their names and all that. They're big girls. And I think that they felt comfort with me when we would be together. And it's not like we were together often, but when we were together. Um, um, I don't know. You know, I they felt like I was one of them. I felt like I was one of. I don't. I don't. They they felt like I was one of them, and I felt like I was one of them, and we felt like we had some things in common. Um. But I feel now like, for example, on Facebook, not my weight loss Facebook, but my, my real Facebook. <laughs> um. They would tell me how beautiful I was all the time before. And I'm not saying this because I need compliments. It's, I'm just trying to make a point here. I, I don't need compliments. I've, I've, no matter what size I've been, I've always been a pretty confident person. I've always been like, you can ask anybody. I mean, my husband, I, at 400 pounds, my husband would say to me, you look beautiful today. And my husband's great at that. And I'd be I know. <laughs> you know. I'd be like, I know. Tell me something I don't know. And not because I was full of confidence, but it was just this out, this outer thing that I felt like I had to put up. Anyways, but since I've lost the weight, I don't think they've complimented me once. Um, I don't think they've said anything. They've never liked one of my photos. They've never said, we're so happy for you. I don't need that. But my point is, is it's out of their character. They would typically be like, you're beautiful. Or um, to, your, to my husband, they would be saying things like, you know, you've got the most beautiful wife. And. I just feel like now that I've lost some weight, that maybe, and I get it because I was there before, and I have so much more weight to lose, so I know the struggle. I just, it makes me feel like some people, and let me just take it a little further. There's so much change when you go through this, and you just, you don't realize until you're there how many issues you're going to deal with and how many things are going to come up. I even feel like some people are more proud of me now than they were before. Um, or that they would be more um to introduce me to somebody now. You know, they would be more proud to say they knew me or I am their this or I am their that. You know, this is my niece, for example. And that's just, it's just an example. Um, and it makes me feel like you weren't proud of me before, Did, would you ashamed of me, you know, and yet I get that because when you're overweight and you're huge, I mean, should you be proud of that? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just know some of us deal with our weight and it's an issue. And um, just to be on both sides in such a short time, you know, being almost 400 pounds and now being, I'm still a huge girl. I mean, you know. If you didn't meet me from Adam and this was the first time you met me, you'd say she's a big girl, you know? Um, the girl needs to lose some weight. Anyways, I'm done rambling. I just wanted to share that stuff with you and for whatever it was worth. <laughs> so I'm sure I will check in again in the near future. Sorry I don't do videos every week. I just don't feel find them necessary for me. Um, I don't know that I have anything to offer <laughs> because sometimes... Honestly, I feel pretty discouraged about how slow I'm losing weight. That's why I try to keep snacks out of the house. I, I try to eat low calorie. I try not to overeat. Not that I don't make bad choices. I mean, my son had a pack of M&Ms earlier, and he handed me, like, five, and I ate them. I had me five M&Ms, and then I'm like, crap, you shouldn't have had those five M&Ms. I mean, this is a struggle. I feel like food will always be... Food will always be a problem for me. I just have to learn to keep it in check somehow, some way. That's the goal. And that's one of the reasons I love the community here because I feel like you guys can share the things that work for you. I learn from them. Does anybody, by the way, Hard Boiled Heather, I loved her videos before. I don't know where she's at. I can't seem to find her videos. I don't know. She's not making YouTube videos anymore. Like if I go to click on her videos, I can't even see the old ones. So I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, but I miss her videos. I miss her grocery haul thingies. I miss her food.
foods and recipes and our kale chips. She's the reason I make kale chips. <laughs> so anyways, um, if anybody knows how she's doing or how I can see her videos, let me know. All right, so great. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll be in touch. So yeah, I'm 120 pounds down. I've been 120 pounds down for, I don't know, a few weeks. So I feel like, like I jumped on the scale today. I didn't lose any weight. My husband said it's because it's your period time. That's why, but I don't know. I didn't lose any weight, weight this week. And I feel like I won't. I will go two weeks without losing weight and then I'll drop. And I'm like, how did I go two weeks without losing weight? I barely ate anything. <laughs> I don't know. By the way, I'm a little concerned that I might be getting over to neck. I'm trying not to. Because, like, I don't know. I just feel. Um, and since I have this on, I probably. Let me just show my gross arm. I, I, you know, I've talked about this before. I always wear something over my arms. Like, for example, this is a sundress that I got that I could have never gotten before, by the way. Um, it just wouldn't have fit. It's, it's a normal size. It's like, a, it's like an extra large in regular people's. <laughs> Anyways, let me just show you my gross arms. And it's gross. And I'm sorry, but I'm just going to show you. I do not, I always wear, let's see, I always wear a shirt because, see, it's just, it is, I do know that if I ever get all the weight off, um, if I get all the weight off, I will be probably trying to get me some surgery, you know. My husband's like, the boobs are coming first. Um, we need to get them bigger again. And I'm like, no, that won't be the first thing. The first thing will be, so, yeah, it's, it's, all of this is just, like, if I could, let me just show you. I know, it's, I'm sorry, it's kind of gross, but, hey, it's just the reality of surgery. Everything can't. If I could just do something where I could pull it back, you know, but I can't, and it's just here, and clothes cover a lot, so I do my best to cover things up, and this is the reality. I mean, it's the reality of getting weight loss surgery. The weight comes off so fast that you're going to have loose skin, and I think it's just different for everybody. Um, my, I'm, I'm cautious about my, my legs because they've got loose skin. I'm cautious about my belly because of the loose skin. Um, but I'm off my, all my medicine. You know, this is what matters to me. I'm off all my medicine. I'm not on my blood pressure medicine, my cholesterol medicine. My blood pressure is normal. These are the reasons I had surgery. Um, believe it or not, you may or may not care. If it wasn't for my health, I probably would have never gotten the surgery. You know, if I could have been that size forever and it not affects my health, I would have stayed that size. It was about health for me. So, yeah, so what? I have gross arms now. They were gross before, right? I mean, they were gross and big before. So they had rolls, right? I had rolls on my arms. Now the skin is just hanging from that. So it is what it is. I mean, but I have a neck again. I have a neck and I have some, you could have never seen this before on me, you know? So there's, there's pluses and negatives and you just deal. I mean, you just, if you are going to get surgery, you have to realize not everything's going to be peachy. There's going to be, <laughs> everything's not going to be peachy. Um, I'm okay with it. I've just learned to accept it. And my computer, um, it just did something. I got to go because I've been talking too long. So. All right, guys. Love you guys. Thank you for being so supportive, and I will be in touch. Bye.